Hello, my loves. I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you for being here. I'm a little bit dishevelled, but we're dealing with the multidimensional healing, radical healing um, and rapid healing from narcissistic abuse to come into our true sovereignty, our authentic power, right? And build our most authentic, beautiful lives. And I want to give you some context, right? Because narcissists put you in traps. And a lot of people are talking to me, rightly so, I've been where you are, and I need to tell you that, um, about hardship. And I'll tell you what I've learned. So I've talked about, for mo a lot of my life, I was successful. I moved to the States um, to carry on with my career. I went through a lot of narcissistic abuse cycles. Now, after <laughs> some of this, I ended up homeless, no home. I lost my home. And at one point I was living in a trailer, absolutely broke. Like I understand poverty. Do not think for a second. I don't understand poverty. I'm in a country where I've got no right to a job. So I've got to make it work in my business. I'm heavily traumatized, suffering with PTSD. I don't have a car. People would talk about I slept in my car. I didn't have a car. I have one now. Right. I didn't have a car for years. Um, all I could, uh, luckily, I got to <laughs> manage to get into this trailer in an RV park. And that was, the, that was, I mean, the best I could do. And I'm still going through narcissistic abuse cycles. It was dire. It was dire for me. I understand financial hardship. I was in financial crisis. It was really, really hard, really hard, hard to the point where if I could afford groceries, because I'm not allowed food stamps, people also say, you know, oh, I was on food stamps. I, I mean, I, I would have loved food stamps at that point. I get the trigger. You know, people get triggered, but I'm talking about, um, you know, offering sovereign and stuff. And I know what it's like to have no money. I had a backpack on my back when I could afford groceries and had to walk 50 minutes in the heat to, if I could afford water and groceries and things like that. It was dire and it went on for a long time and it, it broke my heart. It broke my heart because, I mean, I couldn't manifest in the way I used to. I was managing, I did have the internet, I did, I mean, I didn't, have, I can tell you so many stories. It was so hard. Just to say it was very hard. And I was, I understand financial hardship, chronic financial hardship. It was stressful. I was in survival every day. Some days I was living moment to moment, not knowing if I'd have a roof over my head. Like it was bad. It was really fucking bad, right? What I did have, so no one knew about trauma. I couldn't get, you know, healing the trauma and getting out of this PTSD and breaking the cycles and all the stuff I was going through. There was no easy way out of that. There was no one I could find that could help me with that. So that's why I've developed my body of work to put pieces together very clearly, very specifically. I'd also had a big background in coaching and mentoring, right? I've worked in transformation. I've helped people build successes in their business, in their brand, um, change their lives in so many different ways. So I'd already come from that. But the problem I had was the tools weren't working because I was traumatized. They weren't, trauma was the missing link that was not understood in the personal development industry. So much as I'd been a great coach for people, a great mentor for people for many, many years, what I, what that industry doesn't have an understanding of is narcissistic abuse, PTSD and the effects of trauma on manifestation and dealing with that, right? So there was nowhere for me to go on that. Every penny I got, every penny I got extra, because I'd known to do this, I invested in my growth. In my life, right, I've invested definitely over 100 grand in my own training and development. Now, you might say, well, that's nice for her, right? But there were times, years, where I was in chronic poverty, chronic poverty, and I'm not joking, but, like, I knew, I'd already known like to invest in my growth. I'm serious about this stuff. I'm not here to survive anything. I'm here to live the most abundant life, you know what I mean? And grow and develop. And I knew it would have to come inside out. That's what I'm trying to teach you, right? That I couldn't control my external circumstances. They were terrible. They were terrible. It was fixed. There was no way out. I couldn't see how like I could make anything work. It was just a disaster. It was a disaster that I couldn't escape. So I know what it feels like. It seems so fixed. It seems so hard. It seemed like I couldn't make anything grow in the way that I used to. Nothing was quite working properly. I wasn't well, so I, I didn't know how to do it all, but I did know I needed to grow and it was going to have to come inside out because trying to control my circumstances or change them or look for an escape route didn't exist. So what now? right? All I've got is control of myself. I'm going to have to grow and evolve. And I had had a lot of training in personal development and every extra penny I got, I put in my growth. Every penny, every penny. When I started making money again, which I did because I healed and I 
busted out my PTSD. I, I didn't mess around. I didn't go out of my trailer for a long time. I didn't get a car to start with. No, nope, I was okay. I mean, I wasn't okay. It was hard. It was hard. My life was hard. Very, very hard. But like every single extra penny I got, I put in my growth and my development. Every penny. Now, where I'm different to what most people are is I'd had that background. So a lot of you might have been putting money in places that haven't helped you. Right. And that's the challenge with it. It's not like you can just throw money at this. Right. They, I had to go and sit with veterans to learn about PTSD. I had to really get into it. Right. No one could teach me how to heal from narcissistic abuse it's not out there you know now I know now I've put it together not just from my channel and my healing but because of what I've integrated from personal development so there are tools on here but it doesn't look conventional right and the stuff I share with you when I'm coaching you and what I'm talking about not only do I have a high energetic transmission in my videos but I'm bringing intelligence from the best from the best in personal development I've sat in rooms right I was the one in the trader other people were moaning about their investment because but they were they were earning a lot more money than me I I put every penny in I knew I needed to grow but I knew where to invest it right so every time you listen to one of my videos the difference between successful people people who radically grow and transform their lives is the way they think they think differently to you I think differently to you that's why if you keep listening over and over again you will change the way you think and things will open up for you you'll understand energetics you'll understand how to manifest differently in your life you'll start opening to possibilities in circumstances that seem impossible yeah no one shares the level of growth and personal development tools and training, just the awareness. What people do in coaching environments, by the way, is have high level conversations, very high level conversations that change your perspective. That's what I'm giving you here for free. People pay thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands for it. It's free here. So don't think, oh, if I haven't got 500 bucks for sovereign, I'm not getting a change. Everything I'm sharing comes from a huge amount of investment in myself, putting it into practice, knowing what I'm talking about, and also having to change from the inside out. When I couldn't control a single circumstance in my life, I was in dire straits. My body was degenerating. I had terrible PTSD and trauma. I had no options. I had no options. I'm not allowed to get a job in this country. I can't just relax on welfare. I had to fight. I had to fight so freaking hard, right? So, and as I say, I knew to invest in my growth, but I also knew where to invest it. <laughs> so at the time, as I started healing, more money's coming in. I'm not going out. I'm not buying clothes. I'm not even, I've, I've got used to living on hardly anything, right, at this point. After, and it was hard. I mean, I'd, I'd been a very successful woman. I'd been a wealthy woman at, at points. And of course, I'll, I'll rebuild into a beautiful, even better life this time round. But it was really hard really hard. So I know what financial hardship's like. I know what it's like to have absolutely nothing. I know what it's like not to be able to eat for long periods of time, really scared about, can I actually, am I going to be on the streets? Really scared about, am I going to, you know, can I take care of myself and my animals, which thank God I did. I had to dig so deep within myself and into the divine right to move mountains to do impossible things. My, if I go through the stories, all the stories of what I went through, it's impossible. It's impossible. It doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist what I did. It doesn't like, it defies all odds. And that's why I know there is nothing you can't get out of. And I know, it, and, but I unpacked it. I unpacked what I did. All that intelligence, all that investment that I have made, right? And then put into practice, right? I'm giving you here by, sh I'm not just sharing stories, like for a chat, I am giving you a perspective shift. I am going to do what, if you paid like some of these coaches, like you go to their, one of their events, it's like 10 grand to just walk in the door and listen to them for three days. I'm sharing it as much as I can, because I, if I had heard this, what I'm saying, yeah, it would have changed my life so much quicker. Now, you have to understand it's the way you think that's a problem, part of the problem. Your brain gets intimidated by the narcissist, but already you've got limited beliefs from childhood, all the stuff, right? I'm going to make you think differently. I'm going to make you come into your intuition differently. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, right? That's the biggest shift. People pay a lot of money for this. I'm giving it away. I'm giving it away. To be in the room with someone a coach at that level is it extraordinary, right? Because they'll they'll make you see the world differently. They'll make you think differently. That's what I put my money into. I went around people who they didn't understand trauma, so they couldn't help me there. So I was in rooms where my issues were different. You know, none of them were in the situation I was in. Um, but 
I needed to hear what they, how they saw things so I could change my thinking. I knew my brain had been intam- contaminated. I knew I couldn't connect to p- possibility, potential, nothing. I could own, I was so fixed and so limited and it was real. I, I went through agony in these circumstances. My life was terrible. I, it was, it was just like, it just, I couldn't believe it. I did know what it feels like to feel disconnected to God. I also changed my prayers. I also changed my prayers from help me, help me, help me to help me know you. Help me feel you in my life. I thought my life was a waste of time. I couldn't believe someone who'd been talented and gifted and kind, you know, and had good intentions for the planet could be going, could, my life could just be this. It it just seems so, it just seemed crazy. Help me understand what this is about. Help me use this. Help me learn from this, right? I stopped trying to beg for help. I started asking to be better. I started asking to be a better human being. Now, at the beginning, I had no money. So I had to just like, um, Anything I could get for free to learn, anything. But God kept putting people in my path, coaches, mentors, people that would make my mind shift. I learn and learn and learn and learn because what I did have on my hands was time. I did have time at the time. I know I'm busy, yeah? but like I had a lot more time. So it took a lot of time because what I'm doing here is condensing things for you, right? So that you don't have to like spend a lot of time. And it might be hard if you haven't been in personal development to know what is good and what isn't, right? Because like in the therapy, there's a lot of stuff that sounds good, but it's not helping you. It's not helping you if it hasn't shifted you. I'm here to shift you. I've shifted people my whole life. I worked with disadvantaged kids um, in my 20s when in the UK um, to help, you know, to get them into careers. I've worked with celebrities. I've worked. I'm, only, I'm not saying that to be fancy. I'm just saying my life's been so extreme, like extreme highs and extreme lows. Right now, it's going to be completely different. But what I'm saying is I've studied success. I've studied transformation. I've studied contribution on the planet. I've studied how can I be a better person? I've studied my energy. I've studied the whole thing. Right. And every time I talk, you're not just getting a story and a chat embedded in what I say is not only an energetic shift, I am moving your mind. I only could do this when I was healed enough and also with the intention of shifting you. Yeah. So don't think if you can't afford sovereign or five hundred dollars is too much for you right now, you're not getting anything. I'm giving away for free what people pay a lot of money for. That's not to impress you. That's just to say, look, right. If you listen and re-listen and re-listen and listen, all you do, it will change your mind. It will start opening your mind. People already comment about that all the time. People already feel that. Don't underestimate it. It is extremely good and valuable. It, it took me a lot of not just putting into practice, not just my channel, but investment. Investment over and over and over again. When nothing worked, when I was a different one, when I was the one in the hardship, everyone else's life was so different to mine, you know? They were scared about asking their husbands, but they had a roof over their head. They had food on the table. They weren't dealing with survival issues every day and trauma and PTSD and things no one knew how to fix. You know what I mean? And they were still worried about money and blah, 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 when it wasn't like dire straits like in my life it was. And now that's not my life. I do have a car. I don't even go to the grocery store because I hate grocery stores. I get it delivered. I've got an instant. Do you know how much I appreciate everything in my life? I don't need anything in my life anymore. I don't need it, right? I love to have it. And I'm going to have the most abundant life because I, I'm going to be, I'm going to show all of you, you can have money. I'm going to show all of you. I have, I've got a course on money actually because I had to shift my money traumas. Money is an area where we have trauma. I had a lot of money trauma. I know what it's like. I know more than I've even told you about. I know what it's like. So please, right? Don't underestimate the value of what I'm sharing. I'm not saying that to be some kind of martyr in it. I'm saying it because it's the truth. I know this stuff because yes, I did channel it. Yes, I've lived it. Yes, I transformed it. But yes, I put a whole lot of effort in, a whole lot of effort. That's the only thing I did. Only thing I did was study and learn and grow, study and learn and grow every single I still do it. I still do it. I will live more modestly in order to stay connected to my personal development and growth. And what I found in that was having a place to plug into constantly to keep my consciousness elevated because the odds were against me so much more than the people I could see who were also in coaching and mentoring. I, my odds were against me. I, I had to move a tidal wave, right? What they thought was difficult in their life, I mean, it was difficult. That's not to invalidate it. They had worries about things and da-da-da-da, but like mine were, mine were on the extreme level, Yeah. And yet here we are. Right. And so for goodness sake, make it enough. 
If all you can do is listen, I'm telling you, re-listen. Every time you hear one of my videos, I teach this in my courses, right? Re-listen two or three times. It will go, something else will break through. Something else, you'll hear it deeper. Because at the beginning, you'll just hear it on the surface and there'll be something new every time you listen. So if all you can do, and I'm going to keep flooding you with these videos because I'm doing it for you and I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for Eddie six years ago. I'm doing it for Eddie who had no money. I'm doing it for Eddie who had to walk miles in the heat to the grocery store. I'm doing it for Ellie that every time like she got broken down and thought there was no hope in it. I'm doing it for me and for you. I'm doing it for a past version of me that knows about all about poverty, all about no traps, all about financial hard hardship, all about how difficult life can be for years. I know all about it. It wasn't for five minutes in my life. It was impossible and I made the best of it. And not only that, I, I, I broke through. I broke through big, 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 big time. So like... Every time you listen, you'll hear something else in it. It's here to, I'm, I'm not sharing things willy nilly to have a chat. I'm sharing, I'm very intentional about everything I do, everything I do. So it's no accident, the messages, it's no accident what I'm getting at. I'm giving you a perspective shift. I'm giving you and an energetic transmission and a change. Make it enough. If I say something or I swear or you think this is over the top and there's a piece you don't like, chuck that bit out and take what you can. Take what will help you because some of it really will and it will change your life quicker than you can imagine. And I know it for a fact. I've done it with I've done it. I did it my whole life before I even got broken down. You know what I mean? I help people with transformation. But this was one that was really hard. I couldn't shift it. I, I didn't like this was a tidal wave. Right. Taking people from. Um okay lives to amazing lives was one thing, right? Helping people build certain things, but taking people out of the worst, like trauma, tragedy, despair, into abundance. Whoa, this was a job. This was a job. And I had to do it with myself first. And then I had to do it again with myself when I lost it all again. And all the grief of my old life and all the grief and disappointment and shame and there was so much in this, right? But everything I share is intentional. Everything is beyond a transmission. Everything incorporates years of personal development and investment and transformation, knowledge, wisdom, beyond just what I download, beyond the ancient wisdom that I collect to. And you know what I mean? The spiritual wisdom, the personal development tools. I integrate the whole thing and I give it away, give it away, give it away. It's not a chat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move your perspective into the truth but beyond the truth into your breakthrough yeah if make it enough if all you can do is listen to these videos be dedicated be a good student make it enough take what works and leave the rest and dedicate yourself to it if i'd have had this channel i would have killed a lot quicker so don't waste your time let's learn and learn and learn about narcissists do something that will change you this will change you, right? The free stuff will change you. It's enough for now. And as you change, maybe later you'll invest in something. So what? Don't don't disqualify yourself from transformation because you haven't got $500 right now. That's ridiculous. Yeah? Lots of love, guys. I'll speak to you soon.